All right, guys, I'm back. All righty. Sorry guys, I'm not very talkative today. Running this uh, late afternoon into late evening morning shift kind of sucks. I don't really like doing that. But, uh, just gotta live with it. Funny, I sat from Cincinnati, they couldn't find any freight for me on Monday or Tuesday. And then Wednesday, they finally found something that just a regular load we normally do. I, I, I don't know. Um, but they've been keeping me running ever since then. Which I guess that's good. I'll never make up the Monday, the lost time on Monday, Tuesday. But, um, what I'm going to do here, instead of hitting 80 and going west, I'm going to go south a little bit farther, about uh, five more miles, and hit US 20. And that, uh, jumps in, that, uh, leaf connects up with the bypass. Um, and then I'll hit, uh, 31 south. And run that all the way through Indiana. Um, the other thing I could have done would be to go that way, go east on the by on the, the turnpike, and hit 69 south, and go through Fort Wayne, around Fort Wayne and Indianapolis. But if you go that way, you're going east, and then slowly going back west on 69, and um, going this way with significantly shorter miles wise. And while there is some of this back road stuff, um, 31, which is the majority of the trip, is is all two lane, 55 to 60 miles an hour. So, um, except going through Kokomo, it can be kind of slow if you hit it at rush hour, which I'm already past that anyway. So, uh, well, I'll be past it when I get there. Um, Excuse me, boss. You have a text message. No. my phone telling me I've got a message of some kind. When I go 20 west here, that leads into the uh, bypass around uh, Elkhart, Indiana. And then, uh, like I said, I'll hit 31 south. I wish somebody made a, you know, like a, a road guide for truck drivers that would tell you, you know, what state routes are good to run and which ones suck because some of them like 31 mostly is, is two lane it's freeway like doesn't have a, it's not 65 miles an hour speed limit but it's 55 or 60 and you know it's a good road to run across Indiana um, but then there's other roads that you know they're just because it's a big state route you know there could be 500 stoplights you know, and every, every quarter of a mile you're stopping again, and you really don't want to do that. Um, waste a lot of time. And 
just be, uh, you know, and those good run, those good state routes to run are all over the country. But I just, I try to stay to the interstate myself, just because, um, you know, you know, you know what the speed's going to be. But it'd be nice if somebody put together a a guide, you know, of good roads to run besides interstates. I've delivered into there before, a long time ago. If I remember correctly, it was a pain in the ass for some reason. I don't know why. It took them forever to load me or something. That's really strange. God, that was probably three years ago. <laughs> you may notice I got a laptop here to the right. Um, I really like knowing where I'm going. Um, I like having navigation it's easy to read, easy to follow. If I get turned around or I get lost or or if I'm you know I go past the street, um, it's kind of nice to have more information. And um, every once in a while you'll see me I'll glance over at the laptop just to it's sort of more out of habit. Um, this particular trip, I pretty much know where I'm going, but um, I do it anyway because, you know, you never know. You have a brain fart and you miss your turn or something like that happens and suddenly you can find yourself in a situation where you need to know where to turn to get back to where you got to go to and you need to know it pretty quickly. And the nice thing about the laptop is it gives a much bigger view of what's around you. And so, you know, I can pretty easily figure out, you know, oh, I gotta turn, if I turn right and right and right again, I can get back to where I need to go to, or not, sometimes you can't do that, um, so, the, the, uh, the GPS is nice, this one's actually got an older map in it, so it doesn't have every address, um, the laptop's a newer map, and then, of course, I've got, uh, I've got my uh, Motorola Droid here, which has got Google Google navigation, and um, that's actually really nice too. All right, I got to pay attention here. Hold on a second. Where the hell is the S20? See, there's a good example that the uh, car GPS was telling me to turn right there because, you know, it's a little shorter to cut across town, but I can't go that way in the truck. Eventually, 13 inter directly intersects with 20. <laughs> 